Right, you could put around a few more kingdoms. But really, there's no great need for this. We're currently in a decent spot. With our holdings and everything. Especially our small baronies here. Should I build this? 180 heavy infantry defense. Still don't know if it counts for everyone or just the ones you're gonna have there. Oh, we're building it there. We might as well build it here too. Let's. We do have the money. Let's solidify our basis of power. You always want to contribute a major amount of troops to the overall size of armies you can field. Let's bring our boys home. Let's reinforce fully, as we can afford it. So now we have a bunch of cavalry and a lot of pike. A decent enough retinue for us. Ever more people in our defensive pacts. We need some tributaries. What is this? How are they raising troops? Our region. Who are you fighting? Some invasion of Asturias. Who are you fighting? French Holy War for Picardy. Can't go in this. Let's hope the French Holy War for Picardy works out. Right, okay. Let's praise him for his sense of justice, our good steward. He is content. He's of the Iceling dynasty. And his son is cruel, slothful, greedy, cynical, but strong. Not great. As another ruler. Who have we killed already? Uh, not much. Let's check that we wear enough of the things that we can and should wear. Looks good. What? Our 14 year old courtier is infatuated with us. Well, well, well. You flatter me, child. Let's sway our wife to like us. A very worthwhile thing to do. What was that sound there in the background on the music? Right, so our vassal here has come of age and it's a matrilineal marriage. And he of course wants a seat on the council now, which we should give him because he is very good anyway.
Right, so that's... Another famous bard. Good. So what are you good at? Diplomat. Yeah, let's have him. And give him a wife too. Not someone who's possessed, maybe. So... Right. He will accept the marriage. He really is the perfect king, isn't he? I mean, he's a little bit ugly. Oh, wow. Siege leader on top of it. Okay, he is going to be our new marshal. Because it's actually pretty decent as a marshal, too. So... Our kings are not loyalists, they are pragmatists. But they're still outnumbered by the others. So that's good. Let's make sure that our council positions are all well used. Can't suffer the Northmen to just sit there right next to us. Do their thing. Lots of usurping going on again. I really like checking those manually, I don't, I don't fully know why. So why do we need some more technology? Because it needs to spread here. We should probably put our guy on that, instead of training our troops. So... Let's get them more horses first. How's your war going? Nowhere yet. And how's your war going? Also nowhere yet. Who are you fighting? Petty Queen. Of Navarra. We shall stop slandering him. Really not worth our time. So... Ah, there, there are his troops. Yes, actually, much more. I was wondering why he would start a holy war that he is looking to lose. But he's not. Actually losing that war. Okay, our low-level spy is doing us a great service still. Oh, we could improve our keeps, which is probably a thing we should do. Let's check real quick here. Castle infrastructure 6, but we need improved keeps. Up to 4 as well for another keep level, which is really good. Levy size and garrison size, that's a, that's a strong thing to have, so we'll improve our keeps a bit. 
Go up in majesty. These are all very interesting, but I think we should go for legalism. Or we go for noble customs or feudal vassals like us more. This only ever increases their opinion. Don't care for this. Also don't care about this. Kinda good. Oh well. He just keeps sending his people. Right, taken some prisoner. All of which we're going to try and ransom if we can manage. People are accepting paying their ransoms. Very good, we earned a good amount of money there. Let's have our rival be a commander. That way he might die. And my brother will be our Zeneschal. Money wise we're doing okay. Our retinue should be reinforced eventually fully. We could go much much larger but no. We don't want to expand the money. Could go for some gallow glass. These 200 heavy infantry here. So let's ask our wife to spend some time with us. It's a very prudent move. Finally, we can talk in private. That's a sad marriage where that doesn't happen anyway. Okay, let's be a good acquaintance to our wife. Hoping that we didn't take too much time from her work. And there it goes. Now we're that well acquainted. She is pregnant. Very good. Right, okay, our duke is slandering us. Let's have our wife take leave for the pregnancy. There's no good reason for her to not do that. Look at those impudent raiders. Oh wow. Our steward has done as well. We're waiting for this to subside. Our chancellor is helping that along. And he needs to spread the military technology. All these impudent, impudent raiders. Maybe it's because I'm German, but... My empires always go like a line. They don't expand left or right, they just go down like a line, straight in the middle of something. You just like to be at the center of things. Right, of course, she shall have new clothes. That's not a question for an emperor. This is just for a non-aggression pact with her, I believe. Could still work. 
Let's check our pacts. We have a non-aggression pact with France. And everyone else is just in a defensive pact against us. Let's see, can't we have non-aggression pacts with all these guys? I have a patrol here. My sister... And your heir. Which one is your heir? Ah, it matters not. We have someone younger. Let's go for a betrothal with... We don't have anyone younger. So my sister it shall be. Keeping it... In the family. Can we do something with our brother? No, doesn't look good. And he has won his holy war against Aragorn. Aquitaine Wants to be on the council, but I can't put him on the council. Oh, hello There's our heir our sickly sickly heir Let's see who he should be named after not Edekon Adakan is the crazy one. Let's have him named after. Fine, the grandfather it is. Another Adakan in the line. The Adakans always tend to kill their children to make place for something better. Yes, attempt to save my son. And have a standard guy baptize him. And our brother shall be the godfather. Since he might not make it through infancy, no sense. Right. So maybe now we can betroth them to someone. No. Our heir should be betrothed to someone decent, not someone out of political necessity. So let's find someone strong for him. He's a bastard, and she's also sickly. So they have something to bond over if they make it through. Let's do that. Right, let's put in someone who likes us. And have him go convert places. New wars. Are happening? What are you fighting? Ah, just a revolt. Who's France fighting? Build the holy war for Picardy. What about you guys, anyway? He's excommunicated and a homosexual. Great. So what happens if we win? He just loses prestige. Repents. And it's no longer excommunicated. We 
could bring him in the fold by pressing the claim of our cousin here, who is my vassal. And that way we would hold the kingdom of Austrasia in our empire as well. But there's a bunch of people joining him. So we're not gonna. Not going to happen. <laughs> 